قائد علي صامد علي خوض الشداد علي اسمه وعلي علمه أنزل الفرد الصماد علي ثورة وعلي جمرة بالحريبة ما لنت علي قبلة وعلي لجلة صارت الكعبة مهاد علي علي دربك مسدد اسمك مخلد دربك مسدد واسمك مخلد علي 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 بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم now it's 1 p.m. the time I'm going to call me 21 always appreciate it Yourself or someone can help you fix the video. Well, there's someone who can help me, but I should make my channel. So, look, the problem is maybe you're more experienced than me because you talk. Video called disabled. If I click on video called, it's disabled. I went to the hardware. I mean, the problem is my laptop. I can't figure out where my um, the hardware for my the software, sorry, for my webcam. Okay. But you can so hear I, and see me okay? I can see you perfectly fine. If you're okay, we can go ahead. I can, I, can, I can wait. If somebody's going to fix while you're talking, let him, let him work on it. So while you're talking, he can work on it perhaps to fix it. Or I can t I'll call back in five minutes. I apologize. You said you set the time for nine o'clock. I did not set the time for nine o'clock. And you sent me a message. You said nine o'clock sharp. I'm I'm calling you nine o'clock sharp. Sorry. I'm that a busy was, person. No I'm a busy person. No if you were I'm serious about your prayers, you. you should have I don't thought of it ahead of time. Go ahead like this. Yes. Are you okay with it? Just go ahead like this. Uh, it's not okay. It's not okay. You should have you should have fixed your uh, video. But uh, but I will uh, we'll talk. So introduce yourself to me, please. Who am I speaking with? Very well. I just want.
wanted to establish. I just wanted to establish. I just wanted to establish and make it clear that so far Muhammad Hijab and the rest of the people in that group have ignored my challenge and have eluded my challenge. And I have made them a very, very generous challenge. All matters of dispute between Shia and the Umaris are open to debate, open to discussion, uh, subject to strict rules agreed by both sides. And despite this matter, Muhammad Hijab, though he's very active, and his friends, though they are very active, they have not responded to this challenge. Yeah. And the reason that I see, and everybody, and uh, because of my experience, with your types, and preachers like Muhammad Hijab, and preachers above Muhammad Hijab, in the hierarchy of your ulama, on the basis of my experience, I know why he has not accepted, and why he's ignored. Why Asad Rashid ignored my challenge, mm -hmm. and repeated call. The reason is they know very well that uh, they will be smashed. And that's why they did not answer. Yeah. Yeah, that's you can laugh. If it's, laugh. If, it's, if, it's, if it's a joke, then they should accept. Anyway, no, no. So, but you are not there. But you are not their representative. So you cannot speak. You speak just mentioned them. that you are not their representative, so you cannot speak on their behalf. But I am yeah. free to address them because I've made a challenge primarily to Muhammad Hijab, and you are secondary to him. Therefore, I have a right to address him. And, and, and with respect to your, to your claim that you are an ex-Shia, we have known time and again that we saw TV and TVs uh, funded by uh, merchants of oil and petroleum from Saudi Arabia and from the Gulf states, Salafi, they, they have brought a number of people who have claimed to have been ex-Shia and later on it's proved that they have been members of the Baluchi community or Turkmeni community or other or Kurdish communities of Iran who speak Farsi fluently, nonetheless, they are Omari. But it doesn't matter. Inshallah, during yeah. the debate, during the debate, if you were able to defend the Imam of Abu Bakr, the Imam of Omar, the character of Aisha, the character of Uthman, then you'll prove to the whole world no, that your conversion yeah. from Shiism to Omariism is based on fact, based on reason, and if you're not able to bring forth reasons, then everybody will see that you are no, you're making false claims. No, mm -hmm. yeah. no, we are going to speak English. If you want to speak I Farsi, will. bring your children, I Mullah Zada, here. I have I will. called I many times, I Mullah Zada. Mullah Zada does not answer my calls and my challenges. If you want to speak Farsi, then I want the one higher than you, Mullah Zada. Kurdish. 
Bangladesh, Baluchi, and other Sunni communities. May Allah bless them from my country, Iran. I am born. I was born in Shamiran. That's why I call myself Shamiran. And I don't care if you or anybody believes me. I was born in November 1983 in the northern town of Shamiran, which is today part of Greater Tehran. Shemrani, Shemirani, Shemruni. The double in Farsi and Farsi language. That's what I am. And I, I don't care if somebody believes me. Huh? Let me address these points that you made and then you continue. The reason I ask whether you speak on behalf of Muhammad Hijab and the rest of the members of that group right. is pertinent. It's not, it's not uh, irrelevant. It's important because it has to clarify in the beginning. Do you speak here, debate me as a person, as an individual? Mm -hmm. Or speak, are you presenting them? If you are speaking on, excuse me, if you are here on your own, you present yourself, you're very welcome. However, it would mean that Muhammad Hijab and the rest of the group have not uh, accepted my challenge. And you're saying, saying with my assumption that they're cowards. No, I'm not assuming they're cowards or anything. I know for a fact, because I know your books very well. I have debated very senior scholars, the Imam of Masjid in Medina al Munawwara. I've debated him, Asad al Ghamidi, he's, he's, he's one of the Imams there, on the question of Aisha in Quran. And he was not able to defend Aisha. Time and again, I've debated your highest level of scholars in Arabic and Farsi. And since you're scholars, please, please listen to me. Please, please listen to me. Please listen to me. Please listen to me. I'm not finished yet. And since your scholars have concluded that they cannot debate me, then I started opening your books. Top level scholars, Ibn Hajar al Asqalani, Ibn Taymiyyah, Al Dhahabi, people who have watched my shows, don't they, they know very well how. how please, 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 do not interrupt me, just I listen to you, please. People who watch my show, they know very well how well I know your books. Therefore, when I claim that I know for a fact that the ulama of your madhab are not man enough to debate me and face me, I speak this up out of knowledge, out of experience. You go ahead and prove me wrong. You okay. are very welcome to prove me wrong. Bring your ulama, you yourself, I have accepted the challenge, and now we will see. Now we will see how many debates you will have with me and which excuses you will come up with to run away from debates. We will see. As far as your claim is concerned that you are an ex-Shia, I do not know you. There are people who were Shia, now they are atheists. There are people who were Shia who became communists. There were people who were Shia, they changed their religion. You are nothing. The fact that you claim that you changed your religion, I, I'm not saying that you whether you changed your religion or not. I, does, I do not know that, but I know for a fact. Uh, please, I'm not disrespecting to you. I'm saying it doesn't mean anything. You are not yet. You are nothing. It, when, it, when it comes to you make yourself an example, I've changed my religion. If you have changed your religion, there are people before you have changed their religion. And does not affect it, the veracity of Islam, the veracity of the Shia Madhab, the Isma of Ahl Bayt Hold on, hold on. If now the debates will come, the topics will be put forward. I've said, if I did not have confidence in my religion, and if I did not have confidence in my ability to defend my religion, I would not challenge you openly on all issues, on all issues of difference between us and you. Uh, whether you bring, four, bring five scholars, ten scholars, me alone, I will face you and bring as the hardest question you may have about Shias, and I'll answer you. Inshallah, if you were able, listen very well, Mr. Uh, uh, Mr. Uh, Shemarani. If you were able to answer those questions, then you can claim that you change your religion not for money, and you change change your religion because of reason and because of uh, uh, veracity of uh, Omar. Uh, no, I'm not finished yet. <laughs> but, and then you claim that you were born in Shimron. It doesn't matter. Everybody knows Tehran. Tehran is a conglomerate. The original Tehran is there a very small number, even if it were true that you are Shimron. It doesn't mean that you're not Kurdish, you're not Baluchi. But anyways, it's irrelevant whether you're born Shia, not born Shia. I know many Shia who were born Shia and now they are Baha'i. 
Now they have become a Christian. They are they're Shia who become Christian. That's okay. That doesn't change anything. That doesn't affect the veracity of Islam. There were Sahaba who left the Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and became murtad. It became murtad. It did not, it doesn't mean Islam is batil. Because they can't Anyways. You're getting, so you're getting very angry and very aggressive. No, the truth is hard. And this is my, my, my way of articulation. This is how I articulate my, my, uh, my speech, if you want. It's, it's my choice, how I address you. Yes. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Please do not interrupt me. Please do not interrupt me. When I become silent, then you can talk. Now, with respect to my challenge. Since you are saying that you have accepted my challenge, I'd like to articulate what my challenge is. To explain my challenge is. And then you affirm whether you have accepted this challenge. Listen, Mr. Shemiran. Uh, the issues of difference in dispute between our madhab and your madhab is not one or two. There are many. And Tawheed and the sifat of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala as the attributes, his characteristics, we have difference. In the history of Anbiya alayhi wa salam, their ismah, the seerah of our Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, his ismah, the parents of the Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, whether they were Muslim or not Muslim, your sect claimed that they were not Muslim. We have difference of opinion. With respect to the household of the Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, who are the Ahlul Bayt? Are the Azwaj, the wives, from the Ahlul Bayt or not from Ahlul Bayt alayhi wa salatu wa salam? This is a matter of dispute. There, and of course, an important part of that is Imam. Who is the Imam? Who is the leader of the Muslim? Uh, the Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Listen, listen, buddy. Listen, hold on. I'm not finished. Who is the Imam after the Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam? Whether Amir al Mu'mineen Ali ibn Abi Talib alayhi salatu wa salam, or as you claim Abu Bakr and then Umar and then Uthman and then Amir al Mu'mineen alayhi salam. And then Muhammad alayhi salam. You don't need to teach me these things. I'm, I'm just mentioning the key important issues that are matters of dispute and difference. I'm the challenger. I have to articulate issues of difference that I'm asking you to debate me. Now, I don't want to mention now uh, 20 usul and 20 furu stuff. No, these are the usul, these are the main topics. And then we as Shia have very, very strong reservation about your aqidah with respect to the Holy Quran, with respect to the Sunnah of the Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. We have a strong reservation and criticism with respect to your aqidah about the Sahaba, especially Abu Bakr, especially so Umar, especially so Uthman, especially so Aisha, and Talha and Zubayr, and the question of Adala of Sahaba. So the issues. And there are the, we have reasons to prove. There is not a reason. Please listen, please listen. The matters of difference. I will give you time to, I will give you time to respond. Please, please allow me, please allow me to articulate my challenge. What, what, what is my invitation? I want to know whether you accept, you understand my challenge or not. Just list them down. You could say this kid, or kid, or kid. I'm doing that, you're not allowing me, you're interrupting. I've just, that's exactly what I'm doing. I'm, I'm naming a list to you, and you're not allowing me to to uh, read a list to you. Have you che have you checked your uh, uh, camera? Is it fixed? No, unfortunately it's not. Okay, hold on. With respect to Ahlul Bayt alayhi salatu wasalam, we from the Noble Quran we can prove their ismah from Ahadith of Ahlul Bayt alayhi uh, from Ahadith of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wasallam from your very own books we can prove that they were the heirs. They were the successors. Amir al-Mu'mini was the rightful successor, and his position was usurped and taken away by teachers, by those Sahaba who were corrupt, and who, 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 who betrayed the Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, who betrayed the Quran, who betrayed the religion, and who betrayed Islam, and who betrayed you and me, and caused pain and delay. So these matters, there are at least 30. Listen, 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 sir. Listen. At least 30 topics of difference, issues of difference between us and you. Are you, my question to you is, do you understand this is my challenge? Are you ready to debate these topics one by one, one by one, in a logical sequence, based on, based on hujaj from the opposite uh, uh, the school of thoughts books? Are you ready to debate them with me on a regular basis? They, this may take one year or two years. Go ahead, please. Allah, 
shall not survive and no one in the world was this just listening down from him. This was giving a lecture. This was even already attacking. So please, I'm going to make it much shorter. Look forward to coming in summer. Sure. 
Okay, you do not attack Shiaism, you do not attack Shia, the Shia Madhab, and I will not, I will listen to you. Go ahead. I'm at your disposal, but do not attack my madhab to speak about the challenge. Only you attack my madhab, right? Only you say sahaba. No, no, no sahab, sahaba and murtad, sahab, 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 it's historical fact. You, it's your madhab, murtad, the sahaba who became kafir, the sahaba who became Christian, he's your madhab, he's your iman, you are offended by a sahaba who became murtad, who went to became Christian in the religion of Rome. You became, you went to his madhab, Allah subhanahu wa he's offended by that. Wallah, you will run away. I know you will run away. You will not attend the debates. I know, maybe one session, two sessions. We will see how many debates you will attend. Not you, not your teachers. I know, by Allah, you will make an excuse. You will find an excuse to run away. Or you will put such conditions that the debate will become impossible. No. Tafadal, speak about the challenge. You accept it or you don't accept? When did you talk about the debate that I interrupted you? Please stop now. Ya Allah, let me talk. It's alright, I will talk about the debate. But don't, uh, don't, don't interrupt me, just one thing. As a human being, just as a human being, or a person, I'm not 100% sure. Don't interrupt. Do not interrupt. All the viewers, including the Shias, I believe, if they watch this, of course no, no senior scholar will debate with you. you Listen, you talk know. about the debate. Talk about my challenge. It's not a debate me or don't debate me, that's something else. Talk about debate! As for the topics, as for the topics, as for the topics, Allah Do you accept my challenge? Do you understand my challenge, what it is? Do you understand it? What it is? Do you accept it? Talk about that. Ask your nerves. You want to live longer and refuse the boundaries of the Hobbies. You need your nerves. I should die with Kufar. I should die with Kufar. I should die with Kufar. You know how well I consider you. You know very well that you know what, what's you, but how I consider you, how I view your imams. You know that, and how I prove from Bukhari and Muslim time and again what is their position in Islam, who is Abu Bakr, who is Abu Bakr. I've proved that. If you're man enough, accept the challenge. Why you don't talk about the challenge? You want to talk about everything else but the challenge? I accept the challenge. What is the challenge? Please articulate what's the challenge. Insensitive to you. Be respectful to me. I'll be respectful to you. 
Listen, my sir, Mr. Shemirani. Mr. Shemirani, the challenge is to discuss, please. The challenge is to discuss all topics, all issues of difference between our madhab and your madhab, including any topic, any topic that you deem necessary. And it's, and it's you bring it back into You took all my time, Mr. Ali. This is not fair. Well, why are we? Talk! Talk! It's not fair. Are you not the part, are you not the part of knowledge of Ali ibn Abi Talib, Ali Salaam? Salaam Allah. Hey, listen, listen, I'm not here to listen to, the, listen to your counsel, okay? Listen from now on. That I consider, I do not consider you a Muslim. I do not consider you worthy of respect. Do not come here and do ma'u'idha to me. Do not come here and do ma'u'idha to me. That's why, why I not follow Amir al-Mu'mineen alayhi salam. Amir al-Mu'mineen alayhi salatu wasalam is that man who would throw his enemies and break me too. Okay? Okay? So I follow Amir al-Mu'mineen alayhi salatu wasalam. Now, now let's talk about the, about the, about the challenge. Do you accept the challenge or not? The challenge no, no. is as follows. Let me articulate the challenge. And once again, so, so that's not the challenge. That we do one debate, one debate, the first debate will be the names of Iran from the, from the Quran. That's not the challenge. That, that's not my challenge. My challenge is to debate all issues of dispute between us and you. And if you think it's necessary to prove the names of the noble Imam from the Quran, you can mention that as one of the topics of one of the debates. I accept that. That was my, that's what I said in the video, and that's what I say now. Now, I want to ask you, do you want to, do you want to debate me on these issues, including the names of the Imams alayhi wa in the Quran, or just the names of the Imams alayhi wa in the Quran? No, 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 not just the names of the Imams. Okay. Other topics as well. However, organize step by step. Yes. You know how to Please, I Okay, you do not, do not, do not, do not insult my religion. You talk about, talk about the challenge. Talk. Now it's getting challenged. Please let me talk. Please now, Billahi Alek, look at the watch. Look for free meditators. Trust me, I'm going to be silent. Look at the watch. Look for free meditators. Trust me, silently. Do whatever you want, but let me talk. Mr. Ali, first and foremost, to you and every people, she has shown me Muslim, non Muslim, doesn't matter. I do not intend to question. I'm just stating a fact. To me, your religion is part To you, my religion is part So don't insult me. But you did insult my religion, that's why I had to reply. Yeah. saying that he's accepted my challenge to, to discuss all issues of difference between us and the Almighty. And he also mentioned that uh, the topics have to be go step by step in a logical manner. And the issues of the names of the Imams and the Noble Quran and Imama also. These are two different issues. The names, specific names, for instance, Jafar ibn Muhammad and Ali ibn Salah, whether it's the Quran or not, it's not in the Quran. And when it's not in the Quran, how do the Shia explain this matter? Where does that depend? So these are two different issues, Imama and the names. I accept both of them, both of them. But the, but the, the um, order and sequence of debates, they have to be in a logical and rational manner. Right. And what precedes and this issue is the following. That according to only Madhav itself, there are two, there are two positions, there are two propositions. You say, hey, listen, listen. You said you're not interrupting. You forgot. There are two positions. One thing is they tell people, one is in their books. What, tell, what they tell the people, oh, we have to, uh, 
concurrence, we have a jima, we have consensus that the Quran has not been altered for the Quran to mean. When you open their books, Abu Omar says Quran has been altered. Abdullah ibn Mas'ud says Quran has been altered. Abu Wayyid Nikab says Quran has been altered. Uh, Aisha says time and again Quran has been altered. And Sahaba, Tabi'i, Ila, MashaAllah, they say Quran has been altered. And when you look at the history of how, uh, how, how you're laughing, how, that's how you do it. Okay, you, well, I, I thought you were laughing. Uh, if I will accept this challenge with respect, if you want to bring it in the, in the uh, 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 in, before the concept of Imama, the principle of Imama, what is the principle of Imama in the Umar Imama? What's the principle of Imama in the Shi'i Imama? What are the reasons and arguments for the Imama? Because, of course, names is after the notion. The names and, and, uh, and the principles of Imama. It's a, uh, it precedes its importance than uh, the names of those individuals who are imams. But you do not want to discuss that first, you want to discuss the names first. Yeah. I, I agree to that. But however, however, it cannot be, listen, 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 Hakeem. Listen, please. However, it cannot be, because I know what's what your trick is. You just want to come one debate, approve the names, names are not there, you want and you run away. I know, I know your trick, I know your trick. That was a bait that I put for you. No, hold on, hold on, hold on. You're not going to interrupt me, remember? That was a bait that I put for you so you could come. Because I'm a hunter. I'm an only hunter and you came to, to, to give that bait. Now you have been hunted. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. I'm not finished. I'm not finished. I'm not answering your question. You ask the question, you ask the question whether I accept it or not, you now listen. Be man enough to listen. Be man enough to listen. Now, I accept that, that in the beginning stage of these numerous debates that's going to occur between us and your group, that I know you're, you're not going to attend, that, that's going to occur, one of the first debates, one of the first debates will be proving imama or the names of imams. Please allow me to finish. Please, please allow me to finish. Please allow me to finish. I'm not, I'm not depressed on the topic. I'm, talking, I'm just speaking about the topic. I've, I agree that one of the first debates would be on the subject provided first, provided first that you answer my questions with respect to the alteration of Quran as attested by Omar, as attested by Aisha, as narrated by Bukhari, as narrated by Muslim, and numerous, on the authority of numerous Sahaba. If you could explain to me, on the one hand you mentioned that whoever believes that Quran has been altered is Kafir, on the other hand Aisha, believe in Muslim. Bukhari, we, we did not agree in three minutes. We did not agree in three minutes. When we agree on terms, then you can time me. You are not allowed to time me. When we agree on time, then you can time me. We have not agreed. So, first prove to me that the, according to the Umar Imam, the Quran has not been altered. Quran has not been altered. Then, then I will, then I, inshallah, then I, inshallah, tabarakah wa ta'ala, you have the right, you have the right to re inquire whether, so why something is a Quran or it's not a Quran. Also, then my question to you is, do you agree to have our first debate with respect to, or one of the first debates, with respect to the uh, a hadith in your books? No. From Aisha and Omar, the Quran has been altered? Quran has been altered? Huh? I just said the first debate is about the imama of the 12th imam. I don't even want the names of the imam. Just tell me the names of the imam. Uh, even the concept of imama. Even the concept of imama. First, oh, I accept the challenge. That's not a problem. But first you have to, any book, if I say this, why this matter is not in present in this book. First you prove to me that you believe that puts it intact. When your imam, Abu Bakr, Umar, Uthman, they say the Quran has been altered. What right do you have to inquire that whether this subject is in the Quran or not? I'm not going to sit here and all, and all I want our review. Let's finish it. Very easy. Let's not waste our time and our people's time and our
Like, we are talking about the subjects, the subjects. You want to run away. I know what your trick is. You want to run away from the discussion of alteration of Quran, attested by Aisha, Omar, and the rest of the gang. You, you, you want to run away from that. I accept the challenge. You answer, you, you prove that Quran has not been altered in your madhab and I will prove the name of the informed Imam from the Quran. Be man enough, come on, come forward. Mr. Ayari, we both start the first debate as two parties who both believe that the Quran is himself and the first debate is not about Tahrim al Quran. The first debate is about... No, 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 no. You are not going to impose anything on me. No, 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 no. It's a logical sequence. Okay, you talk, and when you're finished, let me know. When you're finished, let me know, then I'll talk. Go ahead. Oh. If, you know, if you know so much of the hate that Fulan will run away, that 
Could prove me wrong. Then, but let's commit now. Let's commit now to 10 debates. Let's commit now to 10 debates and some of the rules, and then we'll be have another session and discuss more rules. How is that? Step by step. Step by step. I'm not sure if you've accepted. That's what I'm saying. Oh, I ask you time and again. Let's 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 mention five topics. You mentioned the names of the Imam from the Noble Quran. All the concepts of the Imam from the Noble. I said my eyes. I said my eyes. Accept, accept, accept. But first, you prove to me Quran is intact. So you want to debate? The first debate would be on the topic of whether Quran, according to Allah Imam, is intact or not, right? No, no. The first topic is about the Imam Shia. No. No, no. Listen, whether you mention the names of Imam or the Imam from Quran, on my eyes, I'm ready to debate that. But that is secondary to the subject. Listen, as far as, as long as there, the question that you do not believe in the Quran, you're telling a lie to people. The Quran's intact. Because, listen, listen, listen to me, please. Please listen to me. Because Omar is not a small personality. He's your Imam. He's your leader. No, so, likewise, no, with man. Do not start a lecture again. I'm not starting a lecture. Please listen lecture, to me. Lecture, lecture me Please listen. No, Likewise, no, no, no. Aisha and Abdullah bin Mas'ud and Ubay ibn Kaab. Now, he can be a second or third of this topic. I believe in this Quran. You're I, you you prove, it prove, it prove it to me. Prove it to me. Prove it to me. Prove it to me. Prove it to me in the debate. Prove it to me in the debate. And the second debate. First debate. No, no, no. That's secondary. Listen. For instance, if I, if I discuss this book, if you want me to discuss this book, whether this, whether, what does Bukhari say about this, say about Battle of Uhud? First we have this, please, please do not interrupt me. Please do not interrupt me. Please do not interrupt me. Please. If we want to discuss what does Bukhari say about the, or Kitab al-Tabari, Tariq al-Tabari, say about the Battle of Uhud or the Battle of Badr, first we have to establish whether this book is, is Sahih or not. Or whether partially Sahih or partially not Sahih. So that, that the question with respect to the Hujia of a book or book is intact or has been altered, it comes before to the content of the book. Every person would understand this. So first, before mentioning anything with respect to Quran, you have to answer my questions. That I have, on the one hand, this, and I know why you're running away. I know why you're, why you're running away. Please, uh, please, and uh, please do not interrupt me. On the one hand, you say whoever says Quran is not in Kaji's coffin. On the other hand, it's Abu ba oh, Aisha, it's Omar, it's Uthman, it's Ubay ibn Ma'kab, so many Sahaba, Mu'ad ibn Jalal, who said Quran has been changed. So, so, I know I understand. I know why you're running away. So, Imam and Quran, the names of the 12 Imam and Quran are my eyes. First, you prove to me. That according to your not have Quran has not been altered. Yes. Just like you. Initially, a reasonable condition of mine was 
So you don't have your comfort zone? You do not have your laptop? You do not have your laptop? London is my comfort zone. London is not your comfort zone. I only come to your comfort zone.
and all the TV of the UK and their scholars to debate me. I called their live show and I said I want to debate you on important issues and I challenge you to a series of debates. Hold on. You know what was their answer? They said, you come to the UK, you come to the UK and we'll debate you. I said, fine, I'll come. I, I called them. I wrote a number of emails to them. I repeatedly called their presidents, left messages that I want to come to the UK. Let's work it out. Let's work out a schedule. Let's agree on the topics of the debate. So when I come, we have these debates. You know what happened? They never answered my phone calls. They never, they never responded to my emails. They, oh, they only wanted to run away and save their faces in front of their viewers. So they said, oh, Eliari comes to the UK, we'll debate him. Since he has not come to the UK, he, we are not going to debate him. And when I say, okay, I'm coming, let's agree first. Let's agree first. So when I come there, we have something scheduled already. They do not even answer their telephones. I know you. You learn from them. You learn from them. Yeah. Okay. Okay, now, no, uh, listen, uh, viewers, this person is wasting my time. And, and I'm proving that he's wasting all my time and he's running away. Okay, okay, let's finish this. Let's agree on 10 subjects. Let's agree on 10 subjects of debates. 10 debates. 10 debates. Let's agree. Let's agree on the first one. Well, I would say we agree on 10, not one, 10. You, you mentioned one topic, two topics, three, four, five. Five topics? I mentioned five topics. Come on. No, 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 not 100 debates. So let's do 10. Five, you mentioned, five, I mentioned. What's your, what, what subject do you propose first? Mr. Ayari, Mr. Ayari, my, my, my good friend, Mr. Ayari. I'm not your friend, I'm not your friend. I'm not your brother, I'm not your friend. No, I would hate to be your friend. Please, please mention, please mention what first topic would you propose for this debate. I'm not, I did not backtrack. I'm still here. I say as, as all the issues of dispute between us, including the name of the Imams and Quran, including the Imam and Quran. But they have a lot of achievements. First, you prove to me. But it should be very easy for you. You believe Quran is intact. It should be very easy for you to prove that. First, prove to me Quran is intact. Then, then we are demanding anything to prove to me. Listen, I'm in Please don't interrupt now. Let's finish it. Okay, first the first topic, bring forth, bring forth five topics, I bring five, forth four, five topics, go ahead. says 
the Quran has been altered, then you do not have any right to prove uh, prove battle of prophet from Quran, prove, prove the prophethood of Ibrahim alayhi salam from Quran, anything from the Noah Quran. Likewise, the, uh, just as we respond to the Jews, listen, listen, just wait, it's a logical matter. For, you grew up to me. Uh, I do not have to have people that. Quran. 
If you cannot answer those questions, I'm not going to discuss that topic. Okay. First, answer those questions. Right. This is the last thing I'm going to say to you. Right. If you keep repeating, right. I'm not going to continue this, this negotiation with you. Because, because I know, because I know you're not worthy. Worthy of any scholar, any student of religion would have understood this matter. But I've told you ten times, you keep repeating the same thing. Imams are more important than those of Quran, therefore we discuss Imam first. But 
the reason is always important. There you go. Whether Imam Shia belief, but for instance, you can say someone can say that Allah is more please don't interrupt me. Please listen. Allah is more important than the Quran. Of course, Allah is more important than the Quran. Therefore, what is the uh, attributes of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in the noble Quran? If one can ask if Quran has been altered, if some attributes of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has been altered, please, please, if, okay. I listen to you. Okay, so we cannot agree. We cannot agree on the, on the first topic. You have a second topic? No, you do not want. I say I agree. The subject, listen, the subject that you proposed on my eyes, I say 100 times. I repeat myself again and again and again. No, listen, let me, let me be clear. Please, please do not interrupt me. You are one Imam from Quran. On my eyes. We have many verses in the Noble Quran. Listen, hold on. So what, you want to what? You want to wrestle me? <laughs> okay, okay, listen now. Okay, okay. Who are you? Who are you? You look how arrogant you are. You know who I am? You know who I am? I will you know who you are. You know whatever you are, listen. Sadia, you know who I am? I wrote thousands of articles. Day and night, I work against okay, you. Okay, okay, then it shouldn't be a problem for you to debate me. Then it should not be a problem for you to debate me. Because we are not coming to an agreement, okay? Let me conclude this meeting. My final word is this. My, you hear my final word, and I will hear your final word, okay? And if then you want, if you want to proceed, if you want to proceed, proceed. If you don't want to proceed, uh, then uh, we, we part away. Okay. My final word is this. All, as I mentioned before in my video, I am ready to discuss. Please do not interrupt me. To discuss all subjects of dispute between Shia and the Omnibus, and bring reason and bring proof from the omnibus. I will never do any istidlal from Shia. Every, every question the omnibus will have, inshallah wa ta'ala, I'll prove it from the only sources, from India, from Sahih Ahadith, and from the verses of the Noble Quran. I'll, my reason is based on that. So my challenge is very clear, and I've been repeating this challenge for many, many years. And Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen, people have seen my videos, most of my uh, uh, debates, uh, probably all of my debates are in Arabic and Farsi, and so far, I haven't had any uh, debates in English. Now, my, again, I uh, articulate this challenge that all subjects of dispute between Shia and the Umaris, including whether the names of the Imams السلام, are present in the Quran or not, and if it's not present in the Quran, whether that matter is a hindrance for the Shia madhab or the Shia belief system, or whether the con how do Shia prove the concept of Imam from the Noble Quran, and how what the verses of Quran say about the question of succession of the Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. All these subjects, I agree to them. However, any bahth with respect to Quran, any bahth, any discussion of the subject with respect to the subject of proving something from the Quran, if the only side demands prove this matter from the Quran or that matter from the Quran, very critical and very important issue is the question of intactness of Quran that the only side has to answer. Throughout history, the only side have accused the Shia, the Shia believe in Tahrib. And the uh, only side does not believe in Tahrib, and therefore the Shia side is Kafir. Well, what they forget themselves is their own books. Bukhari and Muslim, come and I show you. Bukhari and Muslim, they have you of Ijma, that they are Sahih. Aisha and Allah, and many other Sahaba, and other books of yours, mention that Quran is not. What is your answer? Whether you uh, resort to the theory of Mansur or Talala, or any other theory, we come and discuss, and we will demand proof from you, and you can demand proof from us. Therefore, any, I'm not saying that I will not discuss the subjects of Imam I want to be very clear. This has to be very clear and understood. That I welcome discussing the verses of Isma, the verses of Wilaya, the verses of Imam al However, however, logical order demands that before this topic, the question of the intactness of Quran has to be addressed. And if my, Mr. Shemirani agrees to the subject, then this could be our first step in the, in the, the series of debate. If he does not agree to this, then I cannot agree. I will not agree to the subject of proving the names of Imam Ali, Salatu Salam, and Quran. 
or the verses of Imam from the Noble Quran. Although, although my speech is in the internet, and the research of Shia ulama with respect to the verses of the Noble Quran about the Imam of Ahlul Bayt is tremendous. Uh, uh, I, you saw in every, uh, all of my viewers saw that I again and again asked Mr. Uh, my interlocutor, uh, the person who claims he has accepted my challenge, but it seems he has not understood my challenge, or he was playing a trick, just do one debate and run away. I, again and again, I demanded that please propose five topics. So we'll agree on ten, at least ten debates. But he did not, he just insisted on one topic, and then, therefore we cannot agree on this matter. Therefore, okay, it seems like any, any debate will not, will not be possible. He did not even bother to ask me once, what five subjects do I propose? He did not even ask me once. He is because he's not interested in debating. He's interested in getting me to prove the names of Imam Jafar and Salah and the Quran and then run away. I know, I know you. Therefore, therefore, from the beginning, from the beginning, from the beginning, Muhammad Hijab and the rest of the gangs, they put you forward because you you are a fool. And they, they and you took my bait because you are you are a fool. And you did not even understand my challenge. If you if you were if you understand my challenge. Will you at least ask me once that what subject do I propose on for the first five years? Go ahead. Okay. Now you're so after Mr. Adayan is run and his several footballs, we found a shred of doubt. He spoke ten times more than I do. And the only reason sometimes I interrupt too much, what did I do? It's like somebody is um, pushing you on the water. I need some oxygen as well. Mr. Adayan, for me, is no problem to choose five topics. I can choose five topics for you. Uh, I have and I had a live show as a host, but still, and we had alhamdulillah, and don't interrupt me, the start of my show was from Ilan, Exia, Iranian, and myself, imagine, host, and the start of the show, four full years, or three and a half years, every day, we refuted all the shubhat that you have, about Tahdeeb al-Qur'an, about your Shabih, and Sakhif Adillah, and I don't know, Milaya, and all these things that she has misused to prove this shaky belief that can't, can't, cannot be proven from the Quran and from the Mutawatta Sunnah. I can discuss all of these matters. I'm just saying, look, me and you are talking now for almost, and I guess it's more than an hour, and we don't come to a conclusion. I can throw, don't worry, I won't run away. If I run away, then you go around and start a circus, and not a new one. Curse me and call me a. And what? Secondly, do not call me a fool and do not say Mr. Muhammad Hijab put you forward. And all due respect for my brother Muhammad Hijab and all the others you have challenged, I don't need anybody's endorsement. I am not like you. I'm not going to talk about myself as if I'm the amazing Superman and I know everything and I praise myself constantly like you do, which is shameful and hate. I'm just saying I do not need the endorsement of every, anybody. I say that what you say is illogical. In your first video that you released, you said we can discuss the 12 Imam names from the Quran and we can discuss even huh, uh, if it's to my disadvantage topics that are fine. I'm not going to be, I'm not being unfair. I'm not going to say I want to debate one debate and run away. I will promise I will debate at least five or if you want ten debates with you. That's not a problem. I say, do not put, I do, I am not putting strange and tricky, sneaky conditions that, uh -huh, uh, I want to make one debate and then run away. This is unfortunately what you are doing by saying, well, I pray to Allah, if it is based upon the uh, uh, intactness of the Quran. Because first you have to establish that the Quran is intact. Well, according to that logic, huh, you have refuted yourself because, well, what is more important? Allah. What is the Quran from? So what do you need to do? The next first debate on our constant understanding of the one who sent down the Quran. That doesn't go like this. You seem, and the view seem to be very generous, and you said that you are ready and you offer your opponent. I am just saying, let me choose this first topic, huh? and I say I do understand you, Mr. Adayari. Don't think I do not understand you. I understand you very well. I understand that according to your research, the Sunni claim is false, but it's a lie. It's not right that the Quran is intact according to the Sunni who scrutinize the evidence. I do understand that this is your position. I'm just saying the modern day, not just the modern day, for Sunni, this fraud history, the stance is that the Quran is intact and the majority of the Shias today say the Quran is intact. So this can be the second third debate constantly and say, no, that one must be the first debate. This is not logical. You can't just claim four big words around. Every Bible, 
position right now. I, I think if every scholar is listening, what she's going to shut by your behavior and anything else. Forget about the, the, the topic. So I say this to Allah. Let's debate. Five topics. Tahrib al Quran, uh, Imam from the Sunnah, Imam from the Quran, what else? Uh, Aisha's Akhlaq. No problem. All of these things, step by step, yeah? But the first topic, Imam from the Quran, the 12 Imams from the Quran. Okay, don't worry, don't worry, don't give it their names. Let's just debate this, and right after, we can debate anything else. I just say, I'm not forced to debate with you, I'm not running away from you. For me, it seems, I'm not going to use this word, this challenge. If I did it in this uh, session, then I apologize. Running away, it's a challenge. I'm not saying you're running away, it's a challenge. I say, please, Mr. Adayai, just like you accept it with other people, you jumped in the whole board and debated this topic, that topic, what about any stipulation that it must be first, this must be so. Let's discuss the amount of 12 months from the world. Just finish that. Are you done? Finished. Okay. Yes. Uh, I, before we part on the ways, um, uh, I have just one question for you, and you're welcome to ask me a question. Yes. My question for you is, and for, if this is a rhetorical yes. question, you're going to have to answer, and the viewers will understand. You, for, I don't know whether you do not understand this point, or whether you do understand this point. It's so clear. If the Quran, if I should say the Quran is not infallible, if Omar says the Quran is not infallible, if other Sahaba in your book, in very, very Sahih Hadith of yours, which you hide from your own people, you do not tell your own people. We don't hide nothing. Okay, hold on, hold on, let me finish. Let me finish. That would be for a debate. That would be for a debate for you to accept the debate and then, then say you do not hide it in you. This Hadith means something else. Okay. They say the Quran has been altered. Then, if the, the, the logic, you would understand the Shia point of view. This would, this would make, this debate would make your debate meaningless to prove the names of the Imam alayhi salatu wasalam from Quran. If Aisha says Quran was many verses of Quran were eaten by goats, or Aisha says these verses of Quran were lost, or Omar testifies that these verses of Quran were lost forever. They were gone. And uh Abdullah ibn Mas'ud in a way in the cab and so many verses uh, so many narrations that Uthman burnt so many copies and manuscripts of Quran written by Sahaba, dictated by the Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam Uthman ordered all these uh, manuscripts of Quran uh, to be burned. The point of it is that if we prove that from your own books, then it will mean that according to your own mother, Quran is not intact. And if we Shia, and if we Shia do not, do not uh, pinpoint the name of Imam Jafar and Salih alayhi salam, or Imam al alayhi salam, in the Quran which according to your madhab has been altered, and you cannot accept that debate, and you cannot answer those questions, uh, then you uh, cannot uh, demand uh, us. Uh, 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 hold on, let me uh, 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 put the question. Uh, then you cannot uh, demand uh, us uh, to prove uh, the name uh, of Imam from Quran. Uh, it seems uh, like it is very evident that this question has to be addressed before before discussing anything from Quran. But you are, since you are know that you cannot answer those questions, you are, you want the uh, debate of Imam from Quran. Is it correct? Is it correct that you are basically there can never be any discussion between Sunni and Shias except first debating about the entire There can be Quran, many right? debates. But, but if, if you accept your aqal, there will be no debate because the madhab of Shia is so clear, so self evidently clear that you will become Shia. But if you be, will be stubborn, yes, there can be debate. So long as you accept uh, your own books and so long as you accept the fair and uh, uh, just rules of debate, there can be a debate, of course. But, but by our debate, with a scholar, if I address a scholar, he would know. He would know clearly that this question is, uh, uh, the question of the text of Quran precedes the question of content of Quran. Let me, let me, if that's true what you're saying, hello, if yes. that's true what you're saying, how many times did you debate with Ayah and Imam from Quran before, before the debates? I, I, I told you, I told you that I have accept the question of Imam from Quran, but first, but first, Maybe the other scholars are not done this, but I, I consider this to be very, very critical, very important issue. First, you have to answer these questions about the intactness of Quran. Because the first debate would annihilate your mazhab. It would, it would prove that according to your own mazhab, Aisha, Uthman, Omar, many senior Sahaba, they are outside the bounds of Islam. It will, we will be proven. The first, the first debate will be the end of your mazhab. And that's, they have told you, that's why you do not accept this challenge. 
So this is a very important issue. And that, not only that, in a, from a logical point of view, in order in order to uh, to discuss the content of Quran, I understand, yeah, I the, the, the I of Quran precedes it. No, no, 12 imams, no, anything, any subject, any subject, any subject. I prove it to you from your own books, from Quran and Sunnah. However, however, it has to have a logical order. Okay, so you basically say... Uh, if you want to discuss the names of Imam Ali Muslim from Quran, and I told you many times, we are saying this or not, on my eyes, Hala Uyun, you change not. I accept the challenge, but first prove to me in tactics of Quran, from your own mother. I've repeated this... So many times I'm tired now. Anyways, do you have a question for me, sir? Yes, I have a question. Go ahead. If you say the attack of the Quran, so you are basically saying, please don't interrupt, you're basically saying, Quran, Sahabi, number of Sahabi, many Sahabi, few Sahabi, doesn't matter. Sahaba, um, believe or make tahrib of the Quran, whatever. And because of that, your Imam's name is on the Quran, and your Quran is anyway Muhammad according to you and your mother. So that is why there is no point to debate Imam because you admit that the fairy tale of Imam is not in the Quran because of Aish. No, right? no, 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 I do not say that. I do not say that the Imam is not in the Quran. I told you that my speeches with respect to Imam and Quran and the research of Shia ulama with respect to Imam and Quran is tremendous and it's and it's present on the internet and it's also been published. However, however, regardless of regardless. However, regardless of what Quran has to say about Imam or any subject, the question of intactness of Quran, this precedes the question of no, I need to content understand of Quran. You. One second, I want to 100% fully understand you. I do understand, but there's one, just one thing, let's clarify it. So, the Sahaba removed certain things from the Quran, the Imam is still in the Whatever Quran. Whatever they are, I, listen, we will, if you want, if you want to study this, we will come, we will, you read, I'll read the Hadith from Bukhari, from Muslim. No, 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 no. no it is because this cannot be answered simply. Sahaba did what? What verses were removed? What verses were not removed? I cannot answer that question in 30 seconds in one minute or two minutes. If you are a man enough to check the challenge, this is, no, no. Hold on, let me answer you. Let me answer you. If you want to, if you want to inquire into that, accept the challenge and then I will read to you hadith by hadith. Then you understand where you're coming from. No, uh, you are evading the question. You, 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 you are a waste of time for me and for yourself. That's what you are. You are, you are never ready to be debating, and you are, you will never be man enough to debate. I, I, Mr. Ayari, I have, and don't be arrogant if I say this. Don't shout who are you, huh? For your own reputation. So if you are, if you are, if you accept the challenge, it's, look, I accepted your challenge. I'm saying I'll accept discussing Imam from Quran yeah, or yeah, any subject. But if you want to discuss anything from Quran, first you have to answer my questions about intactness of Quran. Uh -huh. Yes, that, that, that's what I'm saying. I accept. I, I'm, not, I'm not changing my position. I'm not changing my challenge. I'm, I'm on my challenge. But 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 but, but, but you wanted to come and have one debate on my way. I have the perfect deal for you. I have the perfect deal for you. Perfect deal for you. Okay. Perfect. What's the deal? To come to a conclusion, yeah? Because it's better to come to a conclusion than nothing. Because I have the impression that you will be ready to debate straight away the mama, 12 imams from the Quran. But you say no, that it, uh, you say it happens that the Quran must be proven. Although you admit yourself that other Shia scholars even don't put the conclusion. So, as you yourself admit, that this is not even a condition, it's not an ijma, so you can't claim that's what all the Rabbis are saying, people of intellect. Uh, you can't portray me here as somebody who is uh, who's not understanding a simple uh, reason. No, it's not. I'm just out of the area. Let's go to, I have the perfect deal for you. No, I'm sorry. I'm, 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 I'm going to have to, I have to pass. I have to pass. I'm sorry. You have proved to me that you are not worthy of discussion. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I, I, after this discussion with you, I come to a conclusion that there will be no fruitful, there's no, there's no point in discussing anything with you, yeah, you're a waste of my time, you will be a waste of my viewers' time, let's, let's finish this here, let's finish this here, you will not, you, you, you just go and talk to Mullah Zala and Misal TV, whatever you do, okay, you do whatever you do, goodbye, goodbye, just leave it, yeah, you are, you are, you, 
you are not you are not you are not worthy to be a party to my discussion. Sorry, I apologize. I have to bear a bit farewell to you and uh, to do this meeting here, uh, since uh, it's obvious that that you are I. I told you many times that anything that has to be struck from the Noble Quran, first you have to learn it. And the question is back and I told you this very logically. If you are so confident that Quran is intact and you have Iman, you have proofs, then you should have no hesitation in accepting this. You prove Quran is intact, then ask me why the name of Amir al Mu'mineen alayhi salam, Fatimah al Zahra salam, Allah alayhi Imam al alayhi salam, and Imam al Ghazar alayhi salam is not present in the Noble Quran. If you cannot accept this challenge, then you do not uh, ask me to uh, discuss the names of Imam Salih and Islam from Quran. You do not have the right to prove, ask me to prove anything from Quran. Because as long as you cannot prove the intactness of Quran, the possibility that something was eliminated from Quran remains, uh, uh, remains there. I would have discussions and uh, debates with only people who have some sense. They cannot be, no only can be fully intelligent, uh, I'm sorry, we can put it another way, could, could be fully aqid, could be fully uh, man of sense in discussing religious issues. Whenever it comes to religious issues, the omaris and aqid part away. However, they have to have some sense. That they, if they are completely out of aqid, then it would be impossible to discuss anything with them. Hassan Shimrani is one of those individuals that she doesn't understand the language at all. If he understood some language of Aqad, it would have been possible to have a discourse with him. And therefore, <laughs> inshallah wa ta'ala, I will uh, uh, spare myself and spare my viewers uh, time and will not engage in any debate with this person. Thank you so much. May Allah bless you all. Bless you. Allah in the future and a future uh,